Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create the custom fields and meta boxes in WordPress, how to store their values in the database and then how to retrieve those values from the database. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so what I've done over here, in fact, let's get rid of all of this first. Okay, so I have created a plugin basically. And this is my plugin, uh, which is add post script plugin. And I've created a file inside of which, which is called add post script plugin. Okay, and then I've done the basics like plugin name, description of the plugin, author, URI, version number, text domain, licensing, uh, things like that. Okay, don't worry about the codes. Uh, all the codes for this plugin will be available to you on my GitHub repository if you go onto this link. Uh, Imran Sayyid, say okay, and uh, add post script plugin. If you go to this link, uh, you'll be able to get the entire code that I'm going to just write. And uh, the link for this uh, codes will be available in the description box of the videos. You don't have to worry about anything, okay? Cool, so let's begin then. Um, so, what we want to achieve basically is I want to go ahead and create two meta boxes. Uh, the first one wherein the user can enter their style within this style, uh, you know, style tag, and uh, similarly, the uh, script in the, within the script tag, uh, if he wants to insert that in the head section of uh, the HTML for that particular page. So let's say for that page, I want to insert it uh, in the head section over here, somewhere over here. Then. Uh, he can write it, write the quotes for style or, or script over here, JavaScript over here. Uh, and if he wants to insert that in the footer section, which is just before the, bot, uh, the body ends, which is basically just before the body ends, if he wants to insert any scripts, then he can enter the information here. This information will be saved into the database and retrieved from the database. So how are we going to achieve that? So Basically, whenever a user goes ahead and creates a new post, this is nothing but a form and uh, WordPress provides us with a hook called save post and uh, if we go ahead and insert our custom function inside uh, with that particular hook, it will allow us to create our own form and it will be saved along with the that particular post whenever the post is saved or updated, created or updated. Okay, so let's, let's start then. Um, so basically the first thing I'm going to do is basically I want to create the meta boxes. So I've written the code already to save time. So so I've created the function which is called I just script add meta box, uh, add custom box. So basically I want to add these two boxes over here. Okay. Uh, I have gone ahead and activated this plugin. So if you go ahead and check. Let me just comment this code out first. Okay, so if you go to plugins, install plugins. You can see add post script plugin. This has been activated, so I've activated it from here. Okay, and then uh, I'm going into post and add new one. Basically, I want the two meta boxes over here. The reason why you don't see them now because I've removed all the codes. So I'm going to create a, a custom function which is called IHS script at uh, custom box. I'm going to check if, the, if this function doesn't exist only then I'll define it. Inside of this uh, basically I want to uh, get all the screens. So basically I want to use the add meta box function. So let's see what this add meta box function do. It creates a meta box. It adds a meta box to one or more screens. Screens means page. Uh, so I want to achieve that. I want to create this these meta boxes in the edit uh, tab for the base, a uh, post as well as pages. Okay. So how do we do that? It uh, accepts different parameter. First is the ID which is the meta box ID. This ID will be used while creating the form for that meta box. Okay. And then title, which will be the, what will be the name of that meta box. Then a callback function. Callback function is where you will echo the output. Basically, this is where you will echo the, 
the form elements and the screen is basically a string or an array uh, no, this will be the name of the post types where uh, you want to include these meta boxes so wordpress provides us with the a different function also which is called get post types and the job of this function is to get me all the post types which are registered so if i go ahead and say get post type you will notice that uh, this particular function retrieves the post type of the current post or, or of, the, of a given post so it, it accepts the post id or post object so over here the first parameter i have passed nothing and the second parameter i have passed as names so it's give me it's going to give me all the names of the uh, all the different post types in form of an array okay so if i go ahead and print this print screens now and i do wp die so that none of the other code gets executed at this point you will notice that uh, you will get all the different post types that are registered print r so you can see this this post this page uh, this attachment revision nav menu item custom css customized change set uh, embedded cache and things like that so these are different post types which are registered in wordpress even if there is custom post type it will show over here so what i want to achieve basically i want to add meta boxes for all these pages so post page attachment revision uh, so obviously these will not have an option of a custom uh, you know meta boxes so uh, these will not be added over here but at least it will be added on the posting page and if there are any custom post type it will, these meta boxes will be added over there as well so coming back to add meta box so the first parameter is the id so this is the id we're going to pass which will be added to inside of the form element and uh, the second is the name the title of the meta box so i just add a script this is the title of the meta box this is a slug this is for translation this is the translation function and then a callback function uh, so this is the callback function which we're just going to create in, in a while this is the callback function name i've given uh, it's a custom function and then the screen so for each item in the array which means that uh, this will run through this array and uh, the first time the loop is run the value of the screen will be post which means that the meta boxes will be added to the uh, post which is basically uh, the so you have the post and page so basically this page uh, this this particular edit section there will be meta boxes over here then the second time the loop is run it will be uh, the value of the screen will be page so it will be creating the meta boxes for the edit section over here okay and so on and so forth if there are any custom post types then it will create the meta boxes for that particular edit section as well great uh, so now we're going to hook this custom function to add meta boxes hook because you are supposed to hook it to the add meta boxes hook in order for that uh, function to work properly yep great so now the uh, next thing we need to do is basically call the custom uh, sorry create a custom function which would allow us to uh, create the form elements for the meta boxes so i've already written the code i'm just going to copy that okay so let's see so over here what we're going to do is basically uh, inside of this custom function we're going to first check if this function doesn't exist if, if it doesn't then we'll, this function will be defined um, second yeah uh, also this this uh, custom function uh, will have a parameter available called post so this will have a post uh, variable available uh, which can be used over here to get the id of the post etc okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call uh, the wp nonce field function so let's see what this function does because we want to ensure that we follow the security so if we check wp nonce field function the job of this function is to retrieve or display the nonce hidden field form 
okay so this uh, this function basically is going to create a hidden input field with a nonce name and nonce value all of these things will be clear in a moment but just to let you know that this is what we'll be doing okay so we'll get a nonce value and a nonce uh, name or inside of an input field a hidden input field and then when we are actually saving the information in database we are going to verify that we are actually getting the data from the same nonce value for security reasons. The next thing we are going to do is basically, uh, let's skip this pass for a moment. Okay, so we have created a div uh, with a class of post box, inside of which we have a div with a class of inside. Then we have created a table with a width of 100% and then tr, td of the table data. We have created a label inside of which we are uh, you know, echoing in a, with the translated function, okay, uh, that add script or style to be added in the header of the page, and then this is basically the slug of the uh, plugin, this is, sorry, the text domain of the plugin, okay, and then uh, there's another label for the text area, in fact, let me just keep explaining to you while I can show that to you as well at the same time. Yeah. Great, so add script style to be added to be added to the header of the page so you can see that this is the one. This text is basically coming from here. If you do an inspect element, you can see that uh, this post box is created and you've actually got the label and the inside of the label you have this particular content written which is, which is uh, this. Okay. And then you have another label for the text area. So this is our text area. So this is the text area with the ID of ID, uh, IHS add script header and IHS add script uh, header is the class as well. The name is the same as well, size 25. And inside of which we are echoing header meta value. What is this header meta value? Uh, basically, this header meta value would be equal to get post meta uh, with the post ID uh, and the meta key name and this will be true which means I just need to know the name of the meta value so get post meta is basically going to retrieve the metadata information from the database as in when we save it uh, so that whenever users save some information over here it can be retrieved from the database this will all be clear in a moment so just bear with me uh, you know it will all be clear in some time similarly there is another uh, table row with the label and we are echoing add script to be added to the footer of the page before the body and so this is basically this one okay. and uh, only for javascript code over here so you should put only javascript uh, code over here and then this is the slug of the uh, plugin and then there's a text area so text area is this one this is our text area then id class name size and again we are echoing the footer meta value which means whatever value user enters over here we can store that in the database in form of a meta key meta value and that meta uh, information can be retrieved by get post meta so we can echo it out once it is saved at this at this location at this point okay the next thing we're going to do is basically just you know create two p tags to let the user know to insert this uh, you know styles in this format so the first thing is Basically, the you should put the style code and script tags. Style. You should put the style code. Up. So it says you should put the style codes with the script tags style and put your code inside of it, and you should put your script code with the script tags. And the code inside of it. Okay, this is the format you need to follow inside of this particular boxes. Great. Uh, so this is that. Uh, obviously, nothing will happen right now because we're not really storing any information just yet. This is just a form that we have created. So just to recap, we've created a custom function called IHS script add meta box, and we are hooking it to add meta boxes function. Okay, and uh, we are actually getting all the different post types we are looping it through over and we're using add meta boxes to create meta boxes form for all on all of those screens which is basically on the post and pages uh, edit screens and then we are 
passing the first parameter is the ID and let me show you this particular ID, IHS section ID. Inspect element. So you can see that this form is created and inside of this form basically so you can see that this is the class post box so inside of this div this id is automatically being appended over here you can see that i just section id so whatever id we have mentioned over here this is the same id automatically has been given to the form that we have created so this is basically the input fields of the form uh, this entire page is anyways a form so basically what we're doing is we are just inserting our uh, input fields inside of the pre-existing wordpress form for the editing the page or the posts okay so you've got that and then this is ihs add script which is nothing but uh, this text over here and then this is the custom function to, to create these uh, uh, input elements and then this is the screen name so it can be added all, all the different screens that you pass in over here okay inside of this function we are creating a nonce field which is a hidden input field i'll show that this one to you as well so if you do an inspect element here you can see that uh, okay, let me show that to you. yeah so you can see that in the div inside which is this div just before the table and so just before the table uh, you see there is a hidden input field yeah there's a hidden input field this one it says i just add script nonce name and that's the the same nonce name we've given i just add script nonce name and then you can see that there is a value there's a random number out here right so that's been created by uh, this particular function if you want to verify that it's the same nonce value for security reasons uh, once we save this data into the database okay great so we're good so far uh, in the next video we're going to learn how to store this data into database and then retrieve them okay see you then